hi everyone this is fahad mirza and i welcome you to my channel in this video we are going to have a look at yet another ocr tool called as taxify taxify is a very simplistic tool that can work with a lot of formats which primarily includes some sort of math equations or something similar to scientific notation rich text it is ideally suited for images and PDFs which contain such content that is enriched with math equations and all the latex and markdown information. So what it primarily does, it takes an image or a PDF file which is full of math notations and then it could output latex or markdown format. Textify can work with block equations or equations mixed with text that is inline it will convert both the equations and the text. Now, this Taxify, as I said, can work with both Latex and Markdown. Markdown is a lightweight plain text formatting syntax. It is easy to read and write and is often used for documentation. Whereas Latex is a document preparation system and markup language. It is commonly used for typesetting scientific and mathematical documents such as research papers and thesis. So let's try to get this Textify installed on our local system and then we will see how it works. Before that, let me give a huge thanks to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you're looking to rent a GPU on a very, very affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website in video's description. Plus, I'm also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on range of GPUs. You don't have to use GPU for this particular Taxify tool. You can run it on CPU or you can run it on MPS, which is another good alternative framework. I am running my Ubuntu system and I have this one GPU card, NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM, courtesy Mast Compute. First up, let's create a virtual environment with Conda so that everything remains separate and clean. And now let's install some of the prerequisites. The most important one is Torch. And just install Torch Vision and Pillow and NumPy, especially if you're dealing with images. And now let's install Taxify. The command is very simple, pip install Taxify. And it's quite lightweight, so it shouldn't take too long to get installed. And as I will be using Streamlit for GUI, which is a open source framework for web application. So we need to install Streamlit so that we could play around with this uh, Taxify in a graphical user interface in environment. And now in order to launch this Taxify GUI, just run this Taxify underscore GUI. And it is going to launch this Streamlit demo on your local system. First time it is going to take a bit of a time to load because if you go to terminal you will see that it has started it at this port and once uh, it starts it starts downloading the models which should also appear here in the terminal and you will see that it is saying that running this now it is also telling you that after the model loads upload an image or pdf then draw a box around the equation or text you want to ocr by clicking and dragging and then the taxify is going to convert it into markdown with latex math on the right okay and if you already have cropped your image you can select ocr image in the sidebar if you don't want to select that box so it's there everything is loaded as you can see here it has also loaded the model let me quickly show you my vram consumption you can easily run it on CPU. It's very, very lightweight. So there you go. It is just consuming 900 meg of VRAM at the moment, which is nothing really. So let me select the files from my local system. So I have selected this image from my local system and they also have given some of the stuff and usage tips on the right hand side, but I'm just going to select and say OCR image here and then it is running the inference on the right hand side and there you go. So you see if you look at this text it says following the minimal energy fraction yes the moon receives in the 
PN's rest frame just looks good. And this is I'm more interested in where it has given it perfectly fine. That looks good. Yep, looks good to me. Good stuff. Let's try out another one. I'm just going to click on browse files. Let's select another image. This is another one. Let's click on OCR image. There you go. And I have kept the temperature to deterministic close to zero so that it won't be creative. And there you go. Now this looks, uh, there you go. So it has given it this and then it is saying that the factor of this is not good. Okay. That is interesting. Not bad at all. Okay. This looks good to me. And there you go. The factor is not good. Yeah, so OCR looks quite good. Let's try out the third one. Okay, this one is there you go. Let's wait for it. There you go. So it says that then the results are that afterwards. And then it has given this lambda and all that. Look at this one and this one. Latex generation is also quite good. Not bad at all. Look at this one. So it says ATYY, it says ATYY. So it is not hallucinating or making anything like that. Very nice. Do you see dot at the end? I think yes, there is a dot. So it looks quite good to me. Let me select a file from my local system to see how it performs with the full uh, maybe paper files, something like this. I just selected this whole paper. This is a technical report on Docling, which is another a very amazing tool to parse the PDF documents. Also, there are nine pages, so you can also go through the pages if you like something like this. And then I'm just going to searching for a tabular page here. Let me, there you go. So let me click on, uh, okay, it's already, let me go here, here, here. Where do I select it? Okay, it's not giving me for the file one. Maybe I'll just draw the box then. Okay, this is the box I have driven just on top of it. There you go on the right hand side. As soon as I have released my mouse, it has started working. There you go. So it has given us in the tabular format. Let me see if I could find any notation here. Maybe from this page, I will just block something and then I'll see what happens. Maybe I'll just go with this one. Maybe merge text. Let's check it out. There you go. Pretty fast. So it says licensing and then, yep, that is correct. Seven is there. All the parentheses, all the scared brackets are there. Commas are there looks really cool so you see it's quite accurate to taxify so pretty nice so that's it let me know what do you think about this tool i will drop the link to it in video description and by the way i have already covered heaps of other tools around pdf parsing or cr such as docling market down marker nougat and the list goes on and on maybe more than 25 to 30 some are generic tools some are task specific or file specific so if you're interested just search my channel and you should be able to find heaps of uh, tools and frameworks and even models around it if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps thank you for watching